So creating this documentary was humbling for me because I was able to see how the subtleties in the beauty of art can empower, impact, elevate. Art is able to transcend languages, boundaries, borders, cultures. It really made me understand that the arts are something that we have to take and use consistently as a tool. But at the same time, it got me thinking about my ancestors and how they have always been using the arts as a tool, but I wasn't really connecting to it being used as a tool. When I think about the Negro spirituals that kept our ancestors strong and pushing forward, when I think about the blankets that were woven in order to hide secrets to how to get to underground railroads, to pass on to your children, to give them strength. When I think about cornrows and how our ancestors would hide rice grains in their hair to bring their culture and parts of Africa to this society. When I think about just how deep that goes, the arts mean everything to a people who are continually striving to create a better world and a better existence that we can actually thrive in and not just be struggling to survive. So I really wanted to create Black and Mary to have people come out of the argumentative, come out of the combative and really get into feeling what it is to be unified, feeling what it is to strive for each other, feeling what it is to make a better society, and art does that in so many ways. It is the marriage of activism with art. We have to say that it stops with us. We are going to make it better for the next generation, but we're not just going to pass the work down. We're going to do it now. Because when we look at things in a way that says, it's going to be better, we're just going to hope. What it does is it alleviates some responsibility. And we all have a responsibility. Every single one of us have a responsibility to make this world a better place. To make this world a place where a black person, a brown person can walk freely, having the same rights, the same privileges as our white counterparts. This quote is by Shirley Chisholm. And her words were, Racism is so universal in this country, so widespread and so deep-seated that it is invisible because it is so normal. One of the biggest problems with racism is that it's normal. And people tend to think that the only acts that can be considered racist are the ones that end in death. People experience racism on a daily basis. There is racism in aggressions, microaggression. There's racism in discrimination. There are racism which literally deprive people of jobs, deprive people of being able to go to certain school, deprive people of being able to enter in certain communities, deprive people of buying homes in certain neighborhoods. It impacts us every single day. We have to stop normalizing even the smaller acts of racism.